annual Fanwood Earth Day event. I'm with Congressman Holt. Good to be with you. Good morning. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Will you be cleaning today? I'm, I'm going to be uh, going on to another town after this, so I won't be staying for the cleanup. Okay, I'd like to ask you, why do you think that celebrating Earth Day as a community is so important? Well, uh, protecting our environment, obviously, is, in, is essential for our survival. And that has to be done on all levels. This is truly grassroots here today. Uh, we have to do it on the county, state, and federal level, too. And I work in Washington on the federal level where we're trying to uh, enforce the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act and preserve open space. Um, it's a challenge right now. Uh, in Congress, just in the past year, there have been 20 votes to weaken uh, the Clean Air Act. There have been 37 votes to weaken the Clean Water Act. And uh, lots of votes to give, um, well, special privileges to oil and gas polluters. Uh, so there are things that have to be done on all levels. It's great to see so many people here in Fanwood today uh, working on what we would call the grassroots level to keep Fanwood uh, as attractive as it is. This is a step in the right direction. Thank you. Happy Earth Day. Thank you. Happy Earth Day. I'm here with Freeholder Mirabella at the 25th Annual Fanwood Earth Day event. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. It's wonderful to be here. How do you feel about the turnout so far? Well, I'm, I'm delighted to see so many people come out to celebrate Earth Day, clean up the community. What, what really warms my heart is to see the young people taking an interest in their community, keeping it clean, keeping it nice, and, uh, and the turnout is fantastic, which is a, a real testament to how we do things at Fanwood. It's a great example for the young people of Fanwood. Would you like to say anything to the future of Fanwood? Well, I mean, I think it's great. I think they, people take pride in this community. I mean, since I moved here, I really, you know, love the community and love the people here. And, and the fact that people come out and want to keep it clean, keep it nice throughout the year, I think is really key. So, so I would encourage all young people and all people in general to continue that pride that I see in Fanwood and uh, keep it clean moving forward. You're a good example yourself. Will you be cleaning today? Yeah, I will. Um, I do think it's important to, um, not only on Earth Day, where we recognize this, um, value our Earth and the human re and the natural resources that we have here, but throughout the year to keep the community clean. So we're trying to do our part today, and uh, it's a great turnout, and it's wonderful to see, and uh, I think it should be a year-round process, but particularly today where we celebrate Earth Day, it's important. Thank you. Happy Earth Day. Happy cleaning. Good morning. I'm here with some of the early bird volunteers. What's your name? Polly Cherubini. Zoe Verico. Caitlin Dayton. Morgan Schmidlin. I'm Kavya Kumar. Has anybody done this before? Uh, yeah, I have. I've done this before. It's a lot of fun. What's your favorite experience? Um, I like the feeling after you clean up, and it's just a lot of fun spending time with people doing something good to the, for the earth. How do you feel about the job ahead of you today? Honestly, I'm really excited to, you know, help the community, help everything look nicer, and I think it'll bring us together, and it's going to be really fun. Okay, thank you guys. Happy cleaning. Hi, I'm here with a few more volunteers this morning. What's your name? My name is Clint. And what's your name? Lisa. Have you ever participated in Earth Day, this Earth Day event before? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, this is my second time, but our center, we've come three times now. So how do you feel about your job ahead of you today? Uh, it should be fun. Uh, get to clean up the city, make it look nice as we all hope it to be. <laughs> Do you know where you're stationed yet? Uh, I think I'll be in the area right back here behind the, the train. I'm not sure what that's called. I'll be following uh, our leader as usual. <laughs> Would you guys consider yourselves environmentalists? Environmentalists? I guess in a way. We like to make sure that the, the world is happy and also safe and clean for the most part, yes. What do you think about this turnout so far today? It's very nice. It's, it's good to see more, more youngsters. Uh, good morning, Sandwood, and happy Earth Day, right? Happy Earth Day! Yay! <laughs> well, I'm really glad to see so many of you out here this morning, bright and early, to help Fanwood kick off its 25th anniversary Yay! of Clean Community. in New Jersey that can boast that for 25 consecutive years, 
we have felt that we needed to focus on Mother Earth, that we need to come together to pick up the garbage, to make sure that the town that we love and we raise our kids in is looking the best that it can. And as we're doing it, we're teaching our young people the importance of the environment. So again, I'm Mayor Colleen Marr. I have with me here Councilman Russ Hugel, Councilwoman Kathy Mitchell, Councilman Kevin Boris, and Councilman Tom Krantz. Give them a round of applause. They serve you every day. We have two very special guests today being here to help celebrate our anniversary. Our very own Sandwood Union County Freeholder, Al Mirabella. <laughs> Really, I want you to give a really nice, warm, fanwood welcome to our United States Congressman, Rush Holt. Yay! And what makes this so special for us is that the Congressman is retiring at the end of this year. Um, so I know we are very sad to see you go, I have to say. We have enjoyed you representing us in the last two, almost two years, but we really appreciate the fact that you're here today and helping us celebrate because you are a great environmentalist. <laughs> this would not be possible without a core group of volunteers. And we have a Clean Communities group that is headed by our DPW, Clint Dixon. And for those who live in Fanwood, you know that with his DPW guys, what they do all winter, spring, fall, and summer. Bob McCarthy, former councilman. Dean Talcott, with lovely wife Linda Talcott. Karen Diaz. John Salardo. Joan Scoobish. And Pat Hoyne. Please give them a big round of applause. The shirts that you see, the giveaways that you have, all the things that you are here because they've been working on this for, for months. Um, I will give a very quick plug that after we do this, because it's 25 years, we're going to do something a little different this year. At 11 o'clock on the north side of the train station, we have our museum that's opened, and we will be doing some recyclable crafts. We will be having uh, the Union County information van there that has a wonderful amount of information about what goes on. We have live music. We have some really great giveaways. We have uh, ways to learn about, I guess, planting and composting and and rain gardens. Thank you. <laughs> so what I would like to do now is I'd like to call forward um, Freeholder Al Mirabella. Well, thank you, Mayor. It's really wonderful to be here. I had a very uh, long commute um, walking across the bridge, so uh, it was great to be here celebrating Earth Day. And what really warmed my heart we're seeing all the young people out here to help their community, and that's really a tradition we have here in Fanwood, and what makes Fanwood such a special community is to have our young people so focused and so committed to our community to keep it clean. I do want to say thank you to uh, our congressman uh, for his uh, leadership in the United States Congress, uh, and really a champion of the environment, and uh, just a wonderful friend of Fanwood Union County. Congressman, thank you for all your efforts. Thanks for being here. The mayor certainly does a terrific job uh, throughout the year, and it's just it's wonderful uh, to see everyone here ready to clean the community. But remember, uh, Earth Day should be celebrated every day, and I think that we do that here in Fanwood, keeping the community clean. People ride through and they say, hey, this town looks great. We see the development going on in our downtown. We see everything happening around our community, and it's a great place to live. I'm proud to be a part of the community, I'm proud to live. Um, you know, two blocks away. <laughs> so thank you, Mayor. Have a great day, everybody. And thanks for all your help today. And Congressman Hall, we would love for you to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mayor Marr. It's always a delight to be in Fanwood, uh, a town that always looks good and acts good. And it is great to see so many folks out here today trying to keep this town uh, in the way that we like it. I, I'm Rush Holt, I'm your representative in Congress, and uh, I don't use the word retire. I'm just not standing for another term. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I, uh, I am your representative and will be for some months to come. And I was an environmentalist uh, long before I was a public official, and I expect to be an environmentalist uh, for the rest of my life. Because preserving our living 
natural environment requires uh, attention day in and day out, not just one day a year, and on all scales. Uh, here you are today working at what has to be called the grassroots level. Um, but there is work to be done at the county level and the state level uh, as well. Uh, uh, Freeholder Mirabella knows, uh, knows that well. And in the U.S. Congress, um, every day uh, we have to work to preserve our environment. And there are some uh, forces we have to work against. Uh, this year in Congress, just in the past year, there have been 20 votes to weaken the Clean Air Act. There have been 37 votes to weaken the Clean Water Act. And that's not counting the votes to, for giveaways to uh, oil and other polluters. Um, so uh, I'm doing my best to hold the line there, uh, uh, fight a rear guard action in some cases, to preserve the gains of environmental protection that date from the first Earth Day, now uh, more than 40 years ago. So uh, you're celebrating this today. Uh, reminds uh, the Fanwood citizens of all ages that this is something we do, should be doing, and you and your public works are doing this all the time, day in and day out, and you have to do it on all levels. Thanks so much. So are we getting ready? Are we ready to go? All right. So I'm going to ask uh, Clint Dixon if he'll come up right now and talk to you a little bit about the next steps. I hope that you've got your green garbage, I mean your black bags for regular trash, your clean bags are for recycling. I hope you've got your gloves and all the other free giveaways. And uh, Clint Dixon now will tell you our next step and how we're going to move you out. Good morning, everybody. Uh, in addition to Mayor Moore's... Uh, information about the north side train station party there's going to be pizza available we're going to have water available there's also going to be raffles there uh, i'm sure she mentioned that but anyway um what we want to do is a couple of housekeeping rules the black bags you're going to get are for regular trash the clear bags are for recycling um in order to use the pickers that we have available we ask that you're very careful and the little guys don't take them because they're very, very sharp and we don't want to see anybody get hurt. So just be careful with those. Um, any volunteers that are going to be working the railroad, we need a lot of people for that section. So if you can wear a vest, the vests are available behind me in a box. Please take one so you're safe on the railroad and just listen to the flagmen. The flagmen are located down by the railroad tracks now. Um, there's a bus that's going to take groups to Forest Road Park and the Midway. Um, this way we will drop people off. If you are going to Forest Road Park, we ask you sit in the front of the bus and the people that are going to Midway Avenue sit in the back and, and the bus will go ahead and take you over to those locations. Hi, I'm with Councilman Tom Kranz this morning. We're about to start the cleanup. Hi, good morning. Hi, Kelly. How you doing? Happy Earth Day. Thank you and to you and to everybody who's watching. Are you cleaning up yourself today? I will be uh, out with the Lions Club uh, for a little while along South Avenue here. Have you done this before? Uh, I've been to the events before, but I've never actually cleaned up before because usually with the rescue squad, I'm out on either on standby or doing calls. But today, this is the first year I'm actually going to be picking stuff up. Would you consider yourself an environmentalist? I think almost everybody in Fanwood is an environmentalist because as uh, Freeholder Mirabella mentioned, this is a really clean town. People around here actually do care about how the town looks and just the simple act of throwing trash in a, in a trash can and recycling instead of throwing it away makes all of us re re um, environmentalists. And how do you feel that, why is it so important to celebrate Earth Day as a community? I think that uh, we all have to kind of celebrate Earth Day every day but I think at least one day a year we have to raise awareness and remind people that it's important to do so. Wise words. Thank you. Happy cleaning. Thank you. Same to you. in the act of cleaning right now. What's your name? Phyllis Fisher. Nice to meet you. Happy Earth Day. Thank you. Same to you. Have you done this before? Yes, I have, but I can only do it on a limited basis because I work, so that's why I started earlier than other people. 
Would you consider yourself an environmentalist? Yes, to a degree, because without the good earth, we're nothing. That is so true. Why do you think it's so important to clean up as a community? Well, first of all, as a community, we dirty our community. <laughs> and we all should be responsible. Thank you very much. Happy cleaning. Chair of the Environmental Commission for Fanwood. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome, everybody, out to Earth Day. As you know, uh, Earth Day has been an event since about 1970, and every year we come out and everybody celebrates Earth Day. The only problem with having Earth Day is that people have to realize they have to be environmentally conscious every day, not just on Earth Day. So it's unfortunate we do have to have this yearly cleanup out in Fanwood because people don't really listen to that philosophy of being clean every day. So do you think it's very important to clean up as a community rather than just on your own? Uh, no, you should clean up on your own, clean up as a community, but you should clean up every day throughout the year. So instead of coming out here and doing a big cleanup like we are, people could come out, we could picnic, garden, give out trees and do fun things. But it, I must say though, over the last couple of years, uh, there's been less and less trash to pick up. So the message is getting through. What do you think the turnout is today? We have a very good turnout today. There's a lot of people um, um, everywhere from very small kids to adults, uh, high school students, environmental clubs, um, families are here, and individuals are here. Um, it's a real, really good turnout. Um, I might want to point out too that the Environmental Commission is very happy that once again we've got a sunny day for today. Uh, our timing is very good with the rain last night and ended this morning. Um, but we do our best to always get a sunny day for Earth Day. Will you be cleaning yourself? Uh, yes, I will. Um, I kind of fill in wherever needed, so I might go to the downtown area, I might work around here, and I'll be taking a few photographs so we can put it on our website. Okay, thank you. Do you have any green tips for us, for Fanwood? Oh, green tips. Um, plant trees, clean up trash, uh, don't throw anything into the storm drains, because a lot of that stuff gets washed into our streams, which eventually gets into our drinking water. Uh, plastic bags, recycle them back at the supermarkets. Um, recycle your cans, your plastic bottles, so on and so forth. Um, very uh, strange tips, keep your tires well inflated on your car, it gives you a little bit better gas mileage. Um, walk, bike wherever you can, and if you do bike, wear a helmet. Very important, my helmet saved me a few years back. <laughs> Thank you, you're like an encyclopedia. Happy cleaning today. Thank you very much. Welcome. I am with Mayor Colleen Marsh. She just gave a warm welcome to everybody at the 25th Annual Fanwood Earth Day event. Hello, Mayor. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you and to everybody in Fanwood. Um, I have to ask you, why do you think that celebrating Earth Day as a community is so important? Well, you know what it is? It is the, it's like a rite of spring here. You know, we've just come out of a hard winter. It's a time for the community to come together. Um, I think people are very educated about their community in Fanwood, and we had really, you know, well over a hundred people, you know, here today. So it's become a, a tradition, and it's become a very well attended tradition. Will you be cleaning up yourself today? I am. I'm going to be heading over to the railroad tracks to pick up some garbage. How do you feel about the job ahead of you? Well, you know what? It's a great job. We've got a good morning with us. You know, we've got a lot of energy out here, and it's all about pride in Fanwood. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Happy cleaning. Thank you very much.
Bye. Bye, Kelly. Hi, I'm here with some of the volunteers as they're coming back from the cleanup. What's your name? Allie Zacharin. Che. Anina. Nice to meet you guys. What are some of the things you found today? Besides garbage. I found a football. I found um, a scratch-off. A scratch-off? Was it a winner? No. It was also a pair of pants that people found. That's funny. And you said you found a uh, deflated basketball? I found five basketballs and two tires. It's funny what people leave around, huh? How do you think the success of the day picking up actual trash went? Uh, pretty good with everyone like doing teamwork and going around their neighborhood. We filled a couple of bags, which was good. Well, we all helped around the community, which is always good. Is this your first year doing this? My dad used to be one of the people in charge of it, so I've been doing it like, since it started. Awesome. Uh, happy Earth Day, girls. Thank you. Hi, I'm with another volunteer today. What's your name? Eleanor Zoke. How do you think uh, the cleanup went today? I think it went really well. We found a lot of good things, and um, it definitely looks a lot better than it did before. You found things other than trash? We found a TV. We found a tire. We found somebody's scooter. Whoa, so you found some treasures, huh? Definitely. It was pretty cool. Uh, how do you feel about helping out the environment by doing this? Oh, it feels really good. I do this every year since I, for as long as I can remember, and I think it definitely makes a big difference. Um, so, are you going to tell your friends about this for next year? Definitely. Thank you. Happy Earth Day. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with some actual public workers uh, for Fanwood. Um, after the cleanup, let's talk with them. What's your name? Jeremy. And? Danny. How do you think the cleanup went today? Actually, pretty good. We had a lot more people this year than last year, um, and probably the year before, and the weather was nice, so that's good. Yeah, that is good. Would you consider yourselves environmentalists? Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but we'd like to keep the town clean. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. Nothing to add to that one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy Earth Day, guys. Happy Earth Day. Thank you. Well, we're standing here in front of the Union County Freeholders uh, Information Van here at Earth Day, celebrating Earth Day in Fanwood, the 25th anniversary, so we're very excited to be here. Uh, but we have uh, this van that we take throughout the county at different key events around Union County to distribute information, to talk to people about programs and how we can help our residents. And it's just been a real good vehicle, literally, for us to be in the community and to share information and let people know what Union County government is doing for them. Did you have fun cleaning up today? Yeah. Who knew cleaning could be fun, right? Mm-hmm. Did you find anything good? Not really. Just some trash? Yeah. What are you holding right now? An earth ball. An earth ball. Wow. Do you love the planet Earth? Yeah. You want to keep it clean and healthy, right? Yeah. How do you feel about planet Earth, keeping it clean? Good. Yeah? You love the environment? What do you what are some things that you do for it? Um, I clean it up. You clean up? Have you been learning anything at these exhibits around here? Yes. This is a cool day, huh? Thank you for talking with me guys. Happy Earth Day. Thank you. Hey, we're here looking at some of the after cleanup fun. What are some of the crafts you're doing over here? Well, we're using all recyclable materials. We're making a caterpillar out of egg cartons. We're doing a mom owl out of old toilet paper and paper towel rolls. Mm -hmm. And a baby owl out of uh, the same. Hi, guys. What are, what's this craft you're doing? We're making dragonflies and also shells that the kids can decorate. Notice that it says Fanwood Earth Day. Coming up in May, we have Union County's Master Gardeners. We're having our plant fair and sale. It's our biggest benefit. It's come 
many people come from all over Union County as well as outside of Union County. We get thousands of visitors, but it's a fun day. There's free crafts for the kids. There's beautiful gardens to see and great plants to buy. Thank you so much. Can you show us your craft that you made? made this first. You made this first? Yeah. Uh, I made a tree, a uh, water, a uh, uh, earth, and like garbage can and a garbage can. You are a good artist. Thanks for showing us. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about this uh, exhibit? Sure. Well, we have a butterfly garden at the Fanwood Nature Center. We in Fanwood have a beautiful nature center. It is eight acres. And at the nature center, we not only have beautiful wildlife and, and trails, but we also have a butterfly garden. Six years ago, we had an Eagle Scout put in a Monarch Butterfly Way Station. And two years later, we had a, another garden put in in the sign of a peace sign. So if you look at Little Fanwood, you can see a peace sign shape on Google Earth. And we actually harvest a Monarch Butterflies. Every year they come back and they lay their eggs on our milkweed. And the caterpillars come out and then they um, develop into butterflies and then they fly down to Mexico. So we're trying to reestablish the monarch butterfly population. We also have other butterflies there. We have swallowtails. It's a beautiful place to come bring your family, look at the different flowers. Uh, we also do all come and talk about butterfly gardens if you're interested. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Karen. Please tell us a little bit about what, what you do. Hi. I'm Karen Diaz. I'm on the Fanwood Environmental Commission and I am the representative from that commission on the Clean Communities Day. So this year we're doing our special 25th anniversary. So the Fanwood Environmental Commission is, has a table set up. We have information available on rain gardens, rain barrels, composting, um, green infrastructure and different um, permeable hard surfaces that you can use. We are also taking pictures of the children and we're printing them out, or actually adults if they want to get their picture taken with the earth, they can. And one of the things that we've done here to try and save um, paper is that we have a catalog of information that's available and if you can fill out a form and whatever information you would like, we will put on one of these little jump drives. It's 07023 Recycles. Hi, I'm with Councilman Boris. Uh, right after the Fanwood cleanup is wrapping up, can you tell us about how you think it went? I thought it went great. We had a good turnout this morning. We had uh, Al Mirabella, one of our freeholders, and our congressman, Rush Holt. Good turnout. Lots of people got involved, and uh, great celebration for the 25th anniversary. Were you out there helping? I was. I was. I was out there by the train station picking up some trash. So. I heard a lot of people found some interesting things like TVs, pants. Did you find anything silly? Uh, I just found a lot of cigarette butts, so that's about it. Nothing good. Okay, thank you. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you. Welcome to uh, Fanwood's 25th anniversary of Earth Day. Um, for all of you that were with us earlier this morning, you know that at 8.30 we met on the other side of the train tracks along with our Department of Public Works and our Clean Communities Committee, and we were probably well over 100 strong that went out into the community to pick up garbage for several hours, and now we're here. Um, to really, again, spend a little time embracing our environmental roots and what makes Fanwood so special. Um, as I said, today is the 25th anniversary of Fanwood, who has been celebrating this. We've got some really great things today that will be going on till 2 o'clock. We've got some wonderful arts and crafts, which are over to my left. We have the idea of what a butterfly, butterfly garden and a rain garden is. We've got a lot of free giveaways in honor of our 25th anniversary and also um, some raffles and we have some wonderful music that's going to be provided to you um, for your listening enjoyment and of course the museum is behind me and will be opened and I would really strongly suggest that you take a minute and come and learn about your roots of this town that we love and call Fanwood. Um, I'd like to call forward our good freeholder Al Mirabella. Well, thank you, Mayor. It's great to share uh, some more time uh, in the community celebrating Earth Day 
here the 25th anniversary and I think Fanwood really was on the cutting edge of getting behind this effort so many years ago and it was really terrific this morning seeing so many young people and folks in the community taking care of Fanwood and caring about the community and uh, with Congressman Hall to join us that was kind of special for us and our DPW who deserve a lot of credit for all the work they do throughout the year and particularly with the winter that we had and I think these guys are maybe just catching their breath a little bit based on all that work that they did and keeping our roads safe for us but but now they're focusing their attention on keeping the roads safe and clean as they always do throughout the year but mayor it's um, it's wonderful to be here to, to give you this uh, resolution on behalf of the freeholders I have also one for John uh, Salardo who's, who's here who I think was the chairperson of your committee so John why don't you come up here as well Nice job with the group putting this day together. And the county's always uh, in a great position and always willing and, and happy to partner with Fanwood uh, because we have such great partners on the other end and value our relationship so much. So, Mayor, I want to present this to you on behalf of all the residents of Union County, just celebrating the work uh, and the great work that's done here in Fanwood throughout the year. And what we kind of said this morning, and, and it's, it's worth repeating, uh, Earth Day is celebrated one day a year, but really should be celebrated every day of the year because this is we only have one planet. We have to take care of it. We do that in Fanwood and across Union County, and I think we need to continue to keep that in mind. So have a great rest of the day. I want to get involved in holding people up from their pizza because people worked hard and they're enjoying this, the festivities here, and I'm looking forward to the band, and it's going to be a great day for Fanwood. Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you, Thank you very much.